A warm welcome to the Chinese ambassador to the United States and other Chinese and American officials and diplomats who gathered at the Richard Nixon Presidential Library and Museum to commemorate the former president's historic trip to Beijing 50 years ago, the first ever by a U.S. president. The two leaders with a masterly grasp of the shifting international landscape put the interests of their nations and the peoples before the differences in ideology and the political system to end over two decades of antagonism and hostility and open the gate of China-US relations. Ambassador Qin Gang was given a special tour at the museum, where a statue captures the moment of President Nixon meeting Chinese Premier Zhou Enlai. President Nixon's grandson was also at the event. I think that it shows that uh, you need to break the ice, and I think that my grandfather was a great example of that. And uh, I think that he had the foresight to realize that uh, when China and the United States uh, can focus on areas where we have commonality um, and can focus on mutual interests, uh, then we can make the world a better place. It's a symbolic visit by the Chinese ambassador to the United States here at the Richard Nixon Presidential Library and Museum to commemorate the 50th year of Nixon's historic visit to China, becoming the first president to do so and laying the groundwork for normalizing relations between the two nations. Among the guests of honor, Elaine Chao served as the first Chinese-American member of a president's cabinet. She says lessons could be learned from Nixon's visionary leadership. Well, President Nixon uh, saw something very unique. Everybody knew the tensions at the time in 1971, but it was only he who saw the opportunity and had the courage and the vision to open a new path between China and the United States. And so hopefully there will be a wise statesman at this stage who will be able to see the opportunities during this time. At a time when China-U.S. relations have repeatedly proved to be critical, not just for the two nations, but for the rest of the world. It is Tianshan CGTN, Yorba Linda, California.